here I'm using MS DOS 6.22 operating system. I'm going to install and use DBase 3 plus database. This was the first database I worked on long back. DBase used to be developed by one single person called Aston Tate and it had only a couple of files to make it work. Here are the files. We'll launch uh, DBase using DBase 3 command. Here is the interface. Uh, it used to have a pretty basic menu system and also called as assist mode. We will actually use the command mode. So by pressing escape, we'll switch to the command mode. And with the question mark, we can actually run commands. I'm running DBase 3 plus, which was created by Aston Tate. First thing we'll check is the date. We can use time function for time. We can actually write just some numeric functions by expressions and it will calculate the total value. We'll create a EMPS DBA file where we'll store the employee details. Employee ID will be character numeric type. Employee name will be character type. Date of birth column. Salary column. We'll save this DBA file and it will switch to data entry mode. Now here we can enter some data, which are we are creating the rows in the DBA file. Now I don't remember the date format. Is it month first or the day first? We'll try the day first. Okay, invalid date looks like month is first, so we'll change this to 12 13 74. And note that uh, for year we were using only two characters. We'll enter one more record. We saved those two records and we can look at the directory listing. There is a DBF file we just created called emps.dbf. It has two records and you can see the size is 162 bytes. We have to use this file uh, to do any data entry or to look at the data in there. We'll use display structure command to see the structure of the table or database file. List command is to look at all the data, all the rows. And we can use append command to add more rows. So you can see we have added the four third row now. We can specify list column names to see only specific column names. We can use browse command to look at all the rows and browse graphically. We can count how many rows are there. We can check the sum of a specific column. We can also ask for average of a specific column. We can edit a specific row by specifying edit record number. You can see the change has not taken effect. I haven't saved it properly. So I'll go back and edit it again. Now I saved it properly. Let's check using list command and you can see the date of birth has changed. We'll delete a record 
and remember uh, d d base system it would just mark the record as uh, deleter delete pointer and we have to use pack command or recall command to keep it or remove it pack command will remove it you can see the third record is deleted now In those days, uh, we also created indexes. Uh, we can just say index on column name to a file name, and uh, emps.ndf file will be created. You can see here it's hundred percent indexed with two records in there. I'm trying to look at all the files which start with emps. So here you can see emps.dbf and ndf ndx files exist. You can use find command to locate uh, data or rows. We'll use the table or the database file with the index file. So when I specify use emps index emps, it will open the database file along with its index. See when I say uh, find sam in lower case it says no find that means that record does not exist in the database so here are the two rows we are we have saved in our dbf file we can use replace command uh, to replace specific column values and here it only replaced the current row We can modify structure, uh, we can change the structure of the database file. We'll increase the ename column to 25 characters. We'll save it and we can check the display structure again. Data is still there. We can close all the DBF files and we can see here when I list it says no database file is in use we can switch back to assist mode and assist mode is basically a menu based system pretty basic GUI in those days now we'll exit from dbase 3 plus At the OS level, if we look at the DBF file and NDX files, we were able to type them and we could see some of the data which is stored in the DBF file. 